Pythagoras defined whole numbers as a collection of ones. Pythagoras told that everything is made of numbers, even music. Since the whole numbers were defined as a collection of ones, one started to be thought of as essential material of which the universe is made of. After Pythagoras, another great mathematician of that time, Archimedes, took the numbers to another level. But then he was captured by the Romans and all the idea of numbers changed. The Roman numerals came into the picture. For the first time, whole numbers were not a collection of ones, rather different numbers. The Roman numbers looked like notches on the Ishango bone, but these were long and hard to write. Despite all of these difficulties, Roman numerals lasted centuries and are still being used by the world. I know what you're thinking of. You're thinking, when did the numbers get the form in which we use them today? You will be pleased and proud to know that this was done in our country, India. One very different and kind of awesome thing that we did was to represent the first nine digits with different symbols, unlike any other civilization before. The numbers that we use now, that is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are Arabic but are found to be invented in India around 500 BC. This is the reason why that this number system is known as the Hindu Arabic numeral system. These numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on were then known as whole numbers. Indians went ahead and created something which was extraordinarily special. We invented zero and represented nothing as a number. This was a revolutionary turn of events of the evolution of numbers. The first evidence of zero, the first ever zero written is in a Chaturbhuja temple in Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh, India. Now, you may think that a number which represents nothing is not very important. But think when you put one next to a zero. As you keep increasing the number of zeros, you get larger and larger and larger numbers. And this team of one and zero is very, very, very important. As we saw how computers communicate with zeros and ones, that's not all. Using these two numbers, you can get any number in this world. This may be hard for you to grasp right now, but it is true and you will learn about this in your higher classes. Now, with the invention of zero, the definition of whole numbers changed. And this definition remains unaltered till now. After the invention of zero, the subsequent invention of numbers like 10, 100, 1000, etc. took place. These numbers which start from 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up and go till infinity are called whole numbers. Still confused? Let me clear that for you. Later, the term natural numbers was mentioned in Ars Conjunctandi, which was the work of a Swiss mathematician, Jack Bernoulli. He clearly excluded zero from the list of natural numbers. Natural numbers are defined as counting numbers. Do we start counting from zero? No, we don't. We always start from 1. This is the reason natural number starts from 1 and whole numbers start from 0. In fact, the term natural numbers was coined after the term whole numbers. I hope it's clear now. So, where were we? Yes, invention of 0. After that, the story of 0 spread throughout the world. Everywhere, there were numbers. And with a lot of numbers came a lot of calculations. But there was a problem. There was humor error in calculations. No matter how carefully the calculations were done. To solve this problem, a mathematician in the name of Leibniz took the responsibility to come up with a device which would do all the calculations. Yes, a calculator. Leibniz built a calculating machine and named it Step Reckoner. This also used only two numbers, 0 and 1 for the calculations. And thus, the problem of human error was solved. Later, in southern England, Colossus, the first working computer, was invented, which again used only zeros and ones for all the calculation. That's how the numbers which we frequently use came into existence. It took thousands of years for them to evolve to its present state. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.